Hello, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We are going through special series and in the last session we have seen a series in which the difference of the terms is in arithmetic progression. Now we are looking at one example where the difference of the terms in geometric progression. Now let us see what is the difference between the terms here. Between 3 and 7 what is it? 4. Between 7 and 15? 8. Between 15 and 31? 16. Between 31 and 63? 32. Now you can look at them 4, 8, 16, 32. Look at the sequence their geometric progression 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16, 16 twos are 32. That means now we are looking at an example where the difference is in geometric progression. Where the terms are not in any standard progression like arithmetic or geometric progression but the difference of the terms are in geometric progression. So what we will do for this is like what we have done earlier. We will take this as S of n and we will write the same S of n by shifting it by 1 because we know the difference is in arithmetic geometric progression. So what I will do now I will write it as 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 31 plus I will go till the end where I will have a n nothing but the nth term. Now when I subtract what happens when I subtract I will have minus so this cancels out becomes a 0 I will have 3 then I will have 7 minus 3 4 I will just put a bracket here so that you can see the starting of geometric series 4 plus 8 then I will have 16 then I will have 32 I will have all the terms how many terms I will have n minus 1 terms I will have why I will have n minus 1 terms I will have n minus 1 terms because 3 is not in the the first term is not there in the geometric progression after that I will have minus a n why minus a n because when I subtract I will have minus a n this will give me nth term of this particular series is given by 3 plus sum of nothing but 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 these are the this is the geometric progression or geometric series we have where we have up to n minus 1 terms n minus 1 terms now what is this if I simplify let us see this one I will say a n equal to nothing but equal to 3 plus 3 plus after that now geometric progression what is the formula a into let us write down the formula here the formula for s of n is nothing but a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 so I will substitute that formula and I will say what is a 4 into r to the power of n what is r here r is 2 so 2 to the power of n n is nothing but n minus 1 now so I will say 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 r is 2 2 minus 1 is 1. Now that's nothing but equal to 3 plus 4 into 2 to the power of n by 2 or should I say I will leave it like that only? Okay. Let me leave it like that only. I will say 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1. <coughs> if I simplify that that's nothing but equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 minus 4 that is nothing but equal to minus 1. So a n is equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 <coughs> minus 1. Now let us check whether this is correct or not. Okay. If I put a equal if I put what I have to find out is 3 7 plus 15 31 right. Let us let us check whether the terms are correct or not. If n equal to 1 this becomes 4 minus 1 3 so first term is correct let's look at second term 2 square 2 square 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 that is 2 power 1 4 into 2 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so second term is correct let's look at the third term now this is nothing but 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 that is 2 square 2 square into 4 is 16 16 minus 1 is 15 so we got our a n correct 
Once we got our an correct, finding out sn is pretty pretty easy. We will see how to do that. Okay, let's do that. Now what will be my next step? I will say sn is nothing but equal to 4 by 2 sigma k equal to 1 to n 2 to the power of n. What I did is 2 to the power of n minus 1, I just made it as 2 to the power of n by 2 so that I can simplify it minus half. 1 if you add n times what it will become sigma 1 right sigma 1 k equal to 1 to n is nothing but equal to 2 into sigma k to 1 of 1 to n of 2 to the power of n minus n because 1 if you add n times it will be nothing but equal to n. So this is what we have to simplify now that is nothing but equal to 2 into what is the formula for 2 to the power of n sigma if you observe this is nothing but geometric progression where you have 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube up to n terms that is what is the geometric progression so what the formula will be for this one this is nothing but a into what is a now a equal to 2 here so 2 into r to the power of n minus 1 <coughs> what is our r r equal to nothing but equal to 2 you can see 2 power 1 into 2 is 2 square so r is 2 2 to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 r minus 1 is nothing but 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 minus n so that's nothing but equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus n or this is the nothing but the formula which will give you sum of n terms let me write it down and check it back again 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus n I will write it here that is nothing but 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus n this is what we got let's check for n equal to 1 n equal to 1 2 minus 1 is 1 4 into 1 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so first is correct if I go to s2 3 plus 7 should be 10 so if I do n equal to 2 2 square minus 1 is 3 4 into 3 is 12 12 minus 2 equal to 10 if I take n equal to 3 s3 is 25 3 plus 7 plus 15 is 25 now 2 cube minus 1 is 7 7 into 4 is 28 28 minus 3 is 25 so our answer is perfectly right now this is one way of finding it out how to do that whenever you see that the difference is in geometric progression you subtract sn from again sn by shifting by one right side so what happens now so that you can find out that geometric progression but remember it will have only n minus one terms because the first one is not there in the geometric progression then you simplify and find out what is a to the power of a n right nth term of this series how to find it out you know there is geometric progression and so you can find out the formula sum of all those terms by sn equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1. Now once you get a n getting sn is very simple because I have to apply sigma wherever I have. For a n if I look at 2 to the power of n sigma 2 to the power of n is nothing but a geometric progression starting with 2 and you want to find out its n terms minus sigma of 1 is nothing but equal to n so after simplification you will get the equation or formula that's nothing but equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus n now what we will do just let's also remember what is our an what is our an an is nothing but 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 I will write it somewhere here because we are going to cross check it with another method so what I will do now I will erase I will erase some part here so that I will write it down so that we can check it with other method also an is nothing but equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 so this is the an term 
and this is the Sn. We will first look into An, how to find it out by other method, like how we did in the earlier session, right? Where we have assumed the value of An square plus Bn plus C equal to An, find out the va find out the values of ABC. Similarly, we will take a equation and find it out. Let us do that. For the other method, let's see. For the other method, what we have to do is the a n or nth term of this series is given by a into r to the power of n minus 1 plus b n plus c. This is the equation which we have to take to find out nth term r t of n or nth term, nth term of this particular series where you have 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 31 plus 63. Now you have to find out the values of A, B, C. We should get in this format. We should cross check that. Okay. Right. Now remember this is applicable only when the difference is in geometric progression. If the difference is in arithmetic progression then you will take T n equal to A n square plus B n plus C. Okay. That is for arithmetic progression and this is for geometric progression. The difference is in geometric progression. Okay. Now, let us go ahead and do what is T1. T1 is nothing but equal to first term that is equal to 3 equal to A into R you know, right? What is the value of R? R for our difference. What is the difference? 4, 8, 16. So, R equal to 2 there. So, it will become 3 equal to 1 into 2 to the power of n minus 1, 1 minus 1 plus b into 1 a into r to the power of n minus 1 plus b into 1 plus c. This is nothing but equal to a plus b plus c equal to 3. That is the first equation. Let us look for t equal to 2. If I put 2, I should get 7. 7 is equal to a into 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 plus I will have b into 2 there. So, I will have b into 2 plus c. That is nothing but equal to a to the power of 2 minus 1 is 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 is 2 to the power of 1. So, I will have 2a plus 2b plus c equal to 7. That is my second equation. If I put if I put t third term, that will be nothing but equal to, what is my third term? Third term is 15. So, 15 equal to a into r is 2 to the power of n minus 1, that is 3 to the 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 plus b into 3 plus c. That is nothing but equal to 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2 square. So, I will have 4a plus 3b plus c equal to 15. Equal to 15. So, these are the three equations we have. We have to solve them and we have to find out the value of a, b, c. We should get that in the form of a equal to 4, b equal to 0 and c should be minus 1. Let us check that. First, I will have a plus b plus c is equal to 3 and I have 2a plus 2b plus c is equal to 7. Now, can I say this is nothing but equal to 2a plus 2b plus 2c equal to 6 if I multiply by 2. Now, I subtract these two, I will have 2a plus 2b plus c minus of 2a plus 2b plus 2c is equal to 7 minus 6. That is nothing but equal to I will have 2a, 2a, 2b, 2b cancelling out. I will have minus c equal to 1 or c equal to minus 1. Now, I can go ahead and substitute that value in the remaining equations. I have c equal to minus 1. So, I will have a plus b equal to 4. I will have a plus b equal to 4. Similarly, I will have 2a plus 2b equal to 
8 and another thing I have is 4a plus 3b is equal to I will have 4a plus 3b is equal to 14 I will have 4a plus 3b equal to 16 because 4a plus 3b plus c equal to 15 c is minus 1 if it goes that side it will be 16 now from here can I find out something from here 4a plus 4b equal to 16 and this is also equal to 16 that tells me b equal to 0 if b equal to 0 a equal to 4 so the values are a equal to 4, b equal to 0, c equal to minus 1. This solution you can do in detail. I have just tried to do it quickly because I just want to check whether you are getting a and same value or not. Okay. Now what is our va what is our equation a into r to the power of n minus 1. That is nothing but a equal to 4 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 0 into n plus c is nothing but minus 1. So you see that's nothing but exactly equal to what we got earlier from the difference method so once you got your a n after that it's the same thing you have to go there and find out what is s n so just before summarizing this let me just take a minute to go through this